Even if, uh, let us say, you're in a fighting sport, let's say you're in boxing, so all you have to do is stamp on his foot and he gets so angry, after that he's nothing. <laughs> Once he gets angry, he's nothing. He can be knocked down in no time. <laughs> Even if they're much bigger than you, it doesn't matter, they're gone. So the moment they get emotional, the fundamental efficiency and competence of your body and your mind drops. In that state, how are you going to win? You're only going to dream of winning. You're not going to win any game, you're just going to dream about it. So, when there is substantial medical evidence today to show that only when you're in a pleasant state of experience, your body and your mind functions at its best. It doesn't matter what is the nature of sport or academics or music or whatever we are doing. What is the nature of activity doesn't matter. Whatever is the nature of activity, essentially success in the physical world is just how well you harness your body and your mind. That's all it is. And these two things you can do best only when you're in a pleasant state of experience. You must… Uh, we would like to see you next time when I come and watch you in the game, I will definitely come. Uh, we want to see you running on the football field with a big smile on your face. And my favorite player is Ronaldinho <laughs> That… Uh, that makes so much sense, sir. You said stepping on the foot and making the other guy crazy. Do you… do you guys remember Zinedine Zidane? Yeah. Do you remember him? Yes. Sir, probably well, one of the best players in the world. Yes, I know. And you know what happened with Matarazzi? Yes. And France didn't win that game. So that makes so much sense, <laughs> sir. So much sense. Sir, but it's so difficult to keep your calm when somebody's elbowing your face and your eyes are about to pop out. See, uh, what counteraction you need to take, I won't suggest now. But <laughs> if you need to take that action, also, you must be in the best form of physical and mental state. So, well, people provoke you, people poke you in the ribs, they do all kinds of things, not just on the football field. All over Bangalore, they're doing it every day <laughs> Yes <laughs> At least there you, you have an umpire. If he pokes you very badly, there is a card. Here, nobody to give you a card. <laughs> people are poking you all over the place <laughs> So, it is not in any one arena, it is there everywhere. In some places it may be physical, in some places it may be mental or emotional or whatever kind, but people are poking you in the ribs all the time, one way or the other. So, question is just this, are you competent to live in this world or not? Essentially it comes down to that, isn't it? Well, the football game as it was in sixties and seventies, people broke their thigh bones and hip bones, that's not there anymore. There are more red cards out there. Little bit of violence means he goes out. Any intentional violence, they're going out these days. But that was not the case. If you played a game with uh, Uruguay or something, you come back with a broken hip or something like this <laughs> So, how do I do this? It's very simple. See, uh, suppose… Uh, suppose we give all of you, let's say, soup-making ingredients. If I give all of you the same soup-making ingredients, do you believe that all of you will come up with the same kind of soup? No. Similarly, that's all that's happened with us. All of us are fundamentally same ingredients. See in how many ways we've become. So it's a soup-making skill <laughs> The question… you're just a chemical soup. I'm saying this is a chemical soup because whatever is the human experience of peacefulness, of joyfulness, of blissfulness, of ecstasy, of agony, of… of misery, of stress, anxiety, whatever you name it, all human experience has a chemical basis to it. So this is a chemical soup. Question is only, are you a great soup or a lousy soup? <laughs> and to become a